Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Z Knowledge TV. Sa AutoCAD video series na ito, I will introduce you the CAD software. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga complete beginner in AutoCAD who has absolutely no knowledge to this software. So, dito sa AutoCAD video series, mag start tayo sa basics. Pag-aaralan natin ng AutoCAD user interface. Understanding the units, making basic drawings, we'll use object snaps to make precise drawings, working with layers and blocks, working with dimensions, and last, we'll print our drawing. So, lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial. Pero, before tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos. So, let's get started. So, sa ating previous videos, natalakay na natin ang different position mode na kung saan mas napadali na natin na-acquire ang precise drawing. Kaya kung hindi nyo pa napapanood o gusto nyo balikan yung mga naunang videos natin, pwede nyo i-click ang link sa description box ng video nito. Okay, so sa video nito, atin naman pag-aaralan kung paano natin mabago o ma-modify yung ating drawing design. We all know that editing objects is a common part of all design tasks. Whether you make modifications as a result of a design change or in the process of creating more complex objects, editing is something na you will be required to do frequently as you grow, right? So, sa kabuuan ng topic na ito, ay ating mapag-aaralan ang paggamit ng iba't ibang command tulad ng move command, copy command, rotate, mirroring, array at scaling. So, let's start in our fourth lesson which is changing an object's position. Sa lesson na ito, we will describe how to use the move command to reposition objects in the drawing and how to move an object using grips. So, moving objects is a common procedure for changing the position of objects in your drawing. The move command enables you to move objects to different locations in the drawing using a variety of placement techniques. So, the move command enables you to reposition an object in the drawing by selecting a base point, where the object is moving from, followed by a point to define where the object is moving to. You can select the two points or use the displacement option of the command. If you use the displacement option, the coordinate values you enter specify a relative distance and direction from the base point you selected. Another option is to use grips to reposition an object. You select a grip and then activate the move command and select a position to move the selected grip and the object to. So, narito ang ilang guidelines when using the move command. So first, when you specify the base point for the move, it should be on or near the object being moved unless you are using other objects to define a reference vector for the move. So, second, by default, the option for noun verb selection is turned on in the software. So, this enables you to select the objects to move prior to starting the move command. So, let's proceed first on how we move objects with the use of move command. So, so this was in AutoCAD. So, the following steps. Uh, provide an overview for moving objects in the drawing with the move command. So, syempre, para malaman natin o maintindihan natin yung function ng move command, so, dapat meron tayong object na nakadrawing. So, let's say, let's say, create time circle. Ayan. Okay. So, let's say, this circle will be moved from this position uh, going to this position or this destination. So, let's proceed first on how we move objects with the use of move command. 
So, ito yung mga steps natin. Okay? So, maraming paraan para ma magamit natin yung move command. So, pwede dito sa ribbon area natin, under the modify panel, so ito yung move icon. So, pwede rin naman na i-type niyo mismo ang buong pangalan niya na move. Okay? Or, pwede M lang. Okay? So, una, i-type natin ang M, then press enter, then select natin yung object, then press enter again. So, specify daw natin yung base point natin. So, kalimitan, ang base point is yung pinaka-center ng ating object. Okay? So, click nyo yan, then drag nyo. Kahit hindi, siya na, hindi, kahit hindi nakahold yung uh, mouse nyo. Pwede yan. So, kahit saan nyo ilagay, so, mapapansin nyo na sinusundan lang ng ating hidden lines yung kung saan mo siya ilalagay. Kung saan mo ilalagay sa bago niyang location, yung ating object. So, once na nalaman nyo na dito na, o nasabi nyo na dito na si Yud, na ito na yung bago niyang location, so, pwede nyo nang i-click yan. Yan. So, nandito tayo sa ating new location ng ating object. Okay? So, paano naman natin mangungi ang ating object with the use of grips? So, simple lang. Uh, select natin yung object natin. Parang ginawa natin kanina. Yan. Select na. Then, yung grips na tinatawag is itong mga box na to. Yan. So, dito meron tayong uh, limang box. Okay. So, ayun yung mga grips. So, next. Click natin yung grip to activate grip edit mode. So, by default, uh, this point will also be used as the base point for the move. Okay. Pwede, na, pwede yung maging base point ng move natin. Kung kanina, ang naging base point lang is itong middle o sa pinaka-center ng ating circle. So, ngayon, itong, kahit itong mga grips na na nasa circumference ng ating circle, is pwede rin maging base point. So, next. So, right-click tayo anywhere in the drawing. Ayan. So, hindi lang basta dito sa pinaka-grip natin, pwede nandito. Pwede nandito. Basta kahit nandito sa ating drawing area natin. Ayan. So, lalabas ito mga different modes natin. Okay. So, click natin yung move. Okay, next. So, specify base point natin. So, so sa example na ulit na ito, uh, isa natin itong base point natin dito sa center ng ating circle. Yeah. So, next, i-drag natin yung object natin papunta sa kung saan yung new location nilalagay. Okay? Ito ha, hindi naka-hold. Okay, yung mouse natin. Okay? So, then, click niyo yung mouse nyo. Yan. So, nailagay na natin yung ating object papunta sa bago niyang location. Okay? So that's all for this uh, topic. The next video, we will discuss on how to create new objects from existing objects. At para sa iba pang videos na gusto niyo pang maunawaan o malaman about sa AutoCAD, so huwag niyo kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell para maging updated kayo sa ating mga next videos. So maraming salamat!